So in the previous tutorial, I taught you how to add a table within the middle row of the main table, and that was two columns, and then add another table into the first column with five separate rows. And then I showed you how to add one of the actual buttons for the navigation menu. The rest I've just added in myself because I don't want to bore you with doing the whole thing over and over again. Right, what I'm going to show you how to do is make one of them a rollover, like, where is it? Here. So actually do the rollover effect on the home page button, do the rollover effect on all of these, right? So what you've got to do in Composer, nice and straightforward, you have the images there. You right click on them, you can go to image properties and you get this little menu pops up. Right, we want to go to something called advanced edit. Okay. And we don't want attributes, we want JavaScript events. JavaScript allows all the kind of interactive stuff to happen on the home page. We want to set an event with an on mouse over. What that does is it will make it change right when the mouse goes over it. Now I need to firstly know where the alternative image is saved, right? It's actually saved in a folder called where is it? Images forward slash that's the wrong one for a start. Brilliant. It's in a folder called images forward slash navbar. So if I just click on my menu at the top and I copy that. Control and C, just to copy that to your clipboard, that will be the first thing you need to do. So Control and C, that little stub there, and that's within your main website directory. So images back forward slash navbar, actually, not backslash. I'll fix that now. So um, and we can change that to a forward slash. So what we're looking for is inside images, inside the navbar folder, and then forward slash again. Right, and I need to find the name of the image. It's home down, capital H, capital D, dot PNG, and there's an underscore there. Make sure you're copying that exactly. I can go to properties, and I can just copy that there. So I right clicked on the image to get properties in this folder here. So copy that, and if I go like that, right, that is the location of where this image will be found. Put some speech marks around it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this dot src equals. And that's a little bit of a script there. We're saying this button's new source will be where you find this resource, where you find this home underscore down dot png. All right. And it's inside these two folders from the main directory. All right. Cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do on mouse out. So we've got the on mouse over saved. Now we go to on mouse out. And you can copy this. If you've named your images correctly, so we go for on mouse out. Should be a piece of cake. So this dot src equals images forward slash nav dash bar. Now your folders might be named differently, so make sure you're doing your actual folders and not just copying off my screen. Home underscore up dot png that's the name of the type of file i've made it as so we click ok now that should be working all right so we've got javascript we've got what happens when the mouse goes over it it's going to be set to this image what happens when the mouse is out it's going to be set to this image so click ok ok and let's see if that works so file and browse page save it's working yeah so that's now working so you need to do the same thing for each of the other images. This is quite a laborious process, but as I show you, I've done this with the uh, the tutorial, and you just need to get on with it really, and just make sure you're going through all the steps I've just showed you here.